Signatures add to the petition and signs are proudly worn. This is Group Super, standing up for public education rights. Today they walk 22 kilometers from Ladysmith to Nanaimo to oppose and raise awareness of School District 68 proposed 10-year facilities enhancement plan. This plan looks at closing 10 schools district-wide. It looks at merging a number of small rural elementary schools into a large mega elementary school. It looks at reducing staffing in the district by 10 staff. So we're seeing less teachers, bigger schools. School District 68's Director of Communications, Donna Reimer, says there's a combination of reasons the plan was proposed. One is to do with wanting newer, better facilities for all of our students to have our students in schools that are of a size where they get a wide variety of programs and, and services. There are definitely, uh, there are budgetary considerations because we have regular routine budget shortfalls. As well, uh, it's more expensive to, uh, to operate a number of facilities when they aren't all full. And just our need to update our facilities. We have many, many facilities that need seriously need updating. This is a 10 years enhanced facilities plan which proposes sweeping actions throughout the district. So everything from the new gym that's been due for a long time at Hammond Bay Gym is rolled, or at Hammond Bay School, pardon me, is rolled in with school closures throughout the Cedar, uh, South End, South Wellington area. I'm walking with grade 11 students from Cedar Secondary School, Stephanie and Madison. Why is it so important for you to be out here today? Well, we want our voices to be heard. Our voices clearly matter and we want everyone to know because our schools are important to us. And your proposed, I guess this new proposal would mean that you wouldn't be able to graduate out in Cedar. Yes, we'd have to go to Bars before our last final year. And how do you feel about that? Not very good at all. How about you, Madison? What do you think about the idea of not graduating in Cedar? Cedar's our home. It's really important to us, and we're all just such a close-knit community, and it would just really tear us apart. Some of the closures look at busing students out of what is currently their home catchment area, so there's a number of problems with that. That busing would limit students' availability in order to attend things like the basketball program after school. Can't go to basketball, i got to catch my bus. I don't want the school to close. I have two children that go to that school, and they will go to two different schools and I will have two pickups, two drop-offs, two pack meetings, two fundraisers, two Christmas concerts and I don't want that. And so it's a huge stress on the parents like you say all those different things but also a lot of concern for the children. Well yeah the children's education it's like small classes, small schools is more of a community so everybody knows each other, the children are safer. <laughs> We've heard lots of concerns from parents. I think the one thing we'd like to emphasize with the plan is the goal of our plan is to improve learning for students across the district. And if they have suggestions or ideas, please participate in the process. We'd like to hear from them. Input is being accepted until June 24th. The Board of Education will meet on June 26th to make some decisions. More information about Group Super and upcoming events and meetings can be found online. In Ladysmith, I'm Kelly Robinson.